Hi everybody, I wanted to just make this quick little video to show you kind of a neat trick for adding data fields to Visio Shape Text. So I was working on this article the other day, uh, uh, John Marshall, another Visio MVP, had converted all these NHL team logo shapes from SVG into Visio format, and then I added my own magic touches to it, and we've offered these for download on the Visio Guy website. So here's the article here. I've added some extra features, and you can read all about it over on this guy. Anyway, as I was working on the shapes, uh, I reminded myself of this old trick that I used to do, and I want to share that with you today. So, NHL shapes, great. Hockey, I love it. So here's the Vancouver Canucks, the Calgary Flames, etc. And I thought, okay, normally people are just going to want to use the graphics for these. They're going to make a big printout and stick it on their cubicle door or put it on their, put the enemy team on their, their co-workers' doors just to bug them or something like that, okay? Especially if their team wins and the other team loses. But then I was putting this little map together of Canada and the U.S. and put the teams up here and I thought, you know, it would look, there's plenty of space for text here. Let's put the names of the teams underneath. So I thought, you know, Van, Ke uh, no, I'm not going to type this 10 or 15 times. It's going to go, it's going to take forever. going to drive me crazy. I don't want to do that. So I remembered that I had added shape data fields to each shape. So you can see we've got city or state or whatever nickname and the full name right here. So every every team has that. So Detroit's got it. Chicago's got it. Okay? So Visio allows you to insert fields. It's not on the home tab, but it's on the insert tab. So if shapes have data fields, you can insert those as text. So if we just click insert field, click shape data, and click the team name, boom, it, it works just like that. So we can do that over and over. The, there's a keyboard shortcut for insert, insert field, so you don't have to go to the insert tab. It's control plus F9. So let's do that. Control F9. Shape data, team name. Great. Okay, that was fun, but I don't want to keep doing that, so let's just repeat the last action, which we can do up here with this arrow, or we can do with the opposite of control Z, so to speak, which is control Y, or even shorter, F4, moving right along. But why do it to each individual shape, especially if you're zoomed in, you can't see everything. Um, so just do a select all, so you can either drag a, a net around them like that, or just hit control A, and that selects every shape on the page. And then we just hit F4, and that repeats the last action. Now there's a little uh, warning here, because I've got this other shape that isn't, I didn't want the text to get blasted, so I actually locked the text against editing so my repeat actions wouldn't destroy everything. So that's what that little yellow thing was. So forget about that for now, and let's just double check that our work has worked, uh, has, has functioned. So if I double click on Bruins, well, let's zoom in a little bit more. You can see it says Bruins, and if I put the cursor at the end and hit left arrow, it goes to the beginning. If I, and then I hit right arrow, it goes to the end. So that's telling us that's an inserted field. Otherwise, we could move through S, N, I, U, R, B. The individual characters have the word Bruins. So that worked great. So let's just practice again. Select Connects, Control F9, into the Insert Field dialog. Let's pick the full name this time, so it's not Canucks, but Vancouver Canucks. Hit OK. Then we do Control A to select everything on the page. We hit F4 to repeat the action, and boom, we're done like that. Great little trick, saves you a lot of time. So that's all I got to share with you today, but being kind of, I'm kind of a teacher at heart, so I wanted to share with you the keyboard shortcuts that you've seen me use in the video in case it looks like the mouse is just madly dancing around and I'm clicking on things and it's just magic. So to get the insert field dialog, control F9. To repeat the last action, you can use that little arrow up there, or F4, or Control plus Y. Select all the shapes on the page, Control A. If you want to fit the page to the window, Control Shift W. Boom, think of it as W is kind of like world, something like that. And then all these zooms and pans I've been doing, you always hold down Control Shift. So I've got that down. Once I do that, I get a magnifying glass. If I left click, it zooms in. If I right click, it zooms out. And if I drag with the right mouse button down, it pans. If you learn those shortcuts, you can use Visio without thinking. You don't have to use these 
these zoom controls down here or the scroll bars. You can just kind of, it just feels like you're pushing paper around on the page. And last but not least, just some notes about the article. NHL Team Logo Visio Shapes. You can find it over on VizGuy, and that's the, the main website right there. But I'll put all this in the, the notes below. So thanks for watching.